All right, this morning I am doing an open box of an 8-channel DVR setup that is uh, from Zmodo, I guess that's how you pronounce it, Z-M-O-D-O. -O. Uh, we purchased a 4-channel uh, version of this uh, several months back that we put in the restaurant down there in Mexico. Now we're wanting to upgrade for an 8-channel. Uh, for more cameras. So this is what we got and I'll go ahead and open the box up. We'll show you what's included. Okay. I've already been in this so there's a lot of filler stuff that's already been removed. But basically when you open the box you've got your accessory packs here. Uh, your connection for uh, for the cameras here, your remote, power supply, and mouse, so you can actually um, go back and review. We've already tested this four-channel setup, and it's a really nice setup. Records uh, a good bit. Uh, comes with four of of your cables for your camera hookups. Them there, and then the instruction manual and the actual DVR itself. Uh, this one does not have a hard drive included which that's fine with us because I've got extra hard drives and basically yeah, I can you can pick and choose I think up to one terabyte if I'm not mistaken that will work in this so I'll go ahead and open it up here because I want to Put a hard drive in, but yep, here on the back is your various connections. So you've got your eight channels here, and then your other uh, signals for uh, for the net. And yeah, another thing they do is they don't put screws in in this right off the bat. It's just slide the front cover and should just pop right off. And be careful of these edges, they are sharp. Okay, there we go. So, yep, there's your the inside of your DVR circuit board and all that. Already comes with a SATA connection, both for power supply and data transfer. So already hooked up where they need to be, and you got, you've actually got the potential for a second SATA hookup. So yeah, theoretically you can actually hook up a uh, second hard drive here um, for additional storage. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll go ahead and show you how to put the hard drive in here real quick. All right, for demonstration purposes, got an extra 500 gig hard drive. That's, you know, this will this is probably enough to record about a month's worth of uh, video. So, yep, it's got the connections, your SATA connections, power, and all that. So, you know, there's the screw mounts here on the bottom. Let me show you that real quick in case you didn't see those. Move them out of the way. But yeah, you got four screw holes right here. And there's two on the bottom, there's two right there. So that's how this hard drive mounts. Uh, basically, let's see, it's kind of a tight fit here. I'm not sure. Yeah, there we go. I have to double check this. Yeah, you've got your screw holes are right here. One there, one there, another two over here, and then they're going to this will go in sideways like so and then you simply mount it in with the screws on underneath you line it up and then line up your holes there so like I said I'm not going to install this actual hard drive simply for display purposes but that's how it works and then again you just connect up your your SATA should be like so 
Eh, if I can see what I'm doing here. Yep. Yep, like that. And then your power will go right there. So now it's hooked up. You're ready to you know, mount it in and all that. So anyway, like I said, I've already got a hard drive in the other um, set up already, so that's what we're going to use. So I'll just disconnect this and leave it as so. Now I'll go ahead and show you the other accessories here in the other box. Alright, so I got the lid back on and I'll just pop it back in the box here temporarily. Put everything back together in a bit. Yeah, this is the second accessory box. This has got your cameras and mounts and all that. So, yep, four cameras come with this. The They call it the CMOS Bullet Outdoor Camera. These are indoor-outdoor mounts. They've got infrared vision already built in for you know, night vision and all that. Your power adapter so for connecting it up to plug, just a simple yep, just a simple plug, nothing fancy. And then the these oh, let's see. Yep, this is your mount. The mount for the camera. I'm going to open up one of those boxes to show you the camera, but yeah, it's basically just three three hole mount to mount on a wall or ceiling or wherever. And then it's got the little adjustable little adjustable thing here where you're going to rotate, move it into position wherever you want it. So a pretty nice little feature. And then of course your little mounts if you're drilling into concrete, which in Mexico where this is going, they, they will be going into concrete. So it's good to have these little anchors and then the screws to hold it in place. And show you what one of these cameras look like here. It's a, I guess what they call the uh, CMOS bullet. There's your infrared. See the blue lights in there. It's got a motion sensor on the bottom, so you can set it up for sensing motion only. Um, and again, you know, the mount will go here where you can adjust it in, in place. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, if you want to mount it on a wall, angle it where you want. So, yeah. Pretty neat little set up and I like these little uh, shields on the outside. Again, these are for protecting it from the weather if you do mount them outside in the rain. Just want to make sure you got uh, this facing up so and not under like that <laughs> so you don't damage your camera. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it about the uh, accessories. So and everything here, but uh, yep, your mounting kits, your four cameras that are included, and like I said, I'm not going to be installing this here. This is going to our sports bar we have in Mexico, and uh, camera setups down there are a lot more expensive for some weird reason, and they're pretty cheap here. So probably because they're you know everything's made in China. So yep. The way it is these days, but uh, yeah, so there you go. A quick open box review of um, security motion sensing cameras, four camera setup, eight channel DVR, and uh, yeah, the uh, actual model number is a. Uh, ZMD-DX-SAN8 So Yep, it's a 960H DVR made by 
Zmodo. So, um, yeah, other than that, that's pretty much the whole setup, but I know you can actually, uh, on a side note, you can actually um, view the cameras, you can get everything set up on a wireless setup, and then use a code from your home laptop or desk PC, and view the cameras when you're not on location, so that's a pretty unique feature, just going through the uh, the network there to check on your location, so yeah, but uh, like I said, this is just simply an open box, I'm boxing everything back up to take south of the border, and I uh, figured I'd just show you for display purposes what uh, was included in a setup like this if you're interested in getting one, so hope that helps you, and uh, other than that, that's it, thanks for watching.